to Still Buffering, a sister's guide to teens through the ages. I am Riley Smurl. I'm Sydney McRoy. And I'm Taylor Smurl. Sisters, this is very odd. I know. <laughs> We're all in one room again. We've done this once before, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For the holidays, here we all are, face to face. I don't think I like this. I feel like I can like accurately judge your reaction to my goops. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. When you're a tiny box in the corner of my laptop, I can't see your facial expressions that closely, so I just go. But now, even right now, like I'm seeing how you're reacting to this bit. See, <laughs> no, I'm thinking we keep you on full screen on our end. Yeah, we see all your face. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I like to so, watch So, like, little, why are we in a little box is what I'm saying. I like to watch the little wiggly bar that... It's uh-huh. a technical term that lets me know my audio is recording correctly. Because in the past, there have Fair. been those times when my wiggly bar goes, goes off crazy, and then we lose the whole episode, and it's because I was looking at your faces instead of my wiggly bar. Aww. Yep. So, I distracted it's from your wiggly bar. I take. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is nice. We're all in one room, enjoying beverages together. I mean, mainly just soda. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, the holidays are over. Well, wow. our holidays. Sid. Wow. Goodbye, holidays. I'm just saying. I don't, some of them are. Some of them probably aren't. Some of them no, are still I just, going, I Okay, you're right. There are still holidays happening. Right now, there are. I know that there are. We can start celebrating my birthday now. It's only like a couple weeks away. Well, then just stay here and celebrate your birthday. Yeah. And New Year's. We got New Year's. It's a big one. Yeah. Hanukkah's yeah, going on. Yeah. Stay here and celebrate. Yeah. You know, I got... I got things to do, but <laughs> I would love that if I didn't have all those things to do. You know what we could do? We could go to the mall. Yeah. Mm. You know what you do there? You slide dog you. What do you do there, Sid? <laughs> you shop. <laughs> and there is the theme of the episode. <laughs> did you see how I did that? Yeah. <laughs> did, do you think, I've always wondered this, We shop when I think of shopping, like if I'm going to go shopping, which I don't very often but i think the mall i'll go to the mall uh and then and then actually justin and i sing the song let's go to the mall by robin sparkles from how i met your mother yeah uh and charlie knows all the words now so she sings it with us (laughs) um (laughs) but my my question is do you think that's just regional what singing a song when you go to the mall (laughs) i think that's specific (laughs) like super specific to you guys regional is that just our county (laughs) Is that just a county thing? No, no, the mall. I like you don't go to the mall, Tay. No, but I, there is no mall, right? Well, there is. There's the Manhattan Mall. I mean, but there's also shops. The mall is the city. Everything is the mall. Everything has <laughs> things you can buy. Um, You're saying New York is one giant mall? Sort of. <laughs> We're, yeah, but like way better. Um, <laughs> way cooler. There's also food, a lot of it. And it's not uh, food court. Food. So there's food at the mall. Yeah, yeah, but it's food court food. I My first job but, was in a mall food court. No <laughs> one should eat there. <laughs> but do you have a Dippin' Dot stand? Uh, <laughs> New is... York? Ha ha! The Huntington Mall does. <laughs> Ice cream of this dystopian future. <laughs> I love Dippin' Dot. Why? Why? This is so confusing to me. It's like, take the greatest joy of ice cream. It's half of the name. It's cream. It's just... <laughs> Oh, but how about little pellets that sting your tongue as they melt? <laughs> <laughs> taste vaguely of the flavor. Exactly. They taste flavor like pink. It's flavorful. And blue. It's oh. it's easy to eat and it's fun. <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I need to back you up. How hard is it to eat ice cream for you? <laughs> it's drippy. Regular ice cream is melty and drippy. But it, imagine this. If you spill regular ice cream, it's just like a plop, like it's a sad plop on the floor. But if you spill Dippin' Dots... It's like a hilarious scatter of marbles. And they're going to melt into multiple sad plops. <laughs> Tiny little multicolored plops all over your floor. But it's also really hard to spill Dippin' Dots because you're eating them so fast they're all gone before you get a chance. <laughs> I guess I've, I've never had a hard time with the function of eating regular ice cream and I've never considered my alternatives. <laughs> Why is there no infomercial with people trying to eat ice cream? They're like, ah! in their mouth, showing it in their eyes, like, oh no! Every time I go to lick it, I knock it off the cone. Just you have to worry. You don't have to worry. Shaking your head. You, don't have to... <laughs> you just take your spoon in and pick it all up in one frozen lump. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that with Dippin' Dots. <laughs> the ice cream uh... of the future. This brought to you. <laughs> 
No, I really, I hate Dippin' Dots. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dippin' Dots. And Charlie I mean, likes Dippin' Dots, do. too. You, you like everything that's bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> People like Dots and Dippin' Dots. <laughs> I don't like any food that comes in dot form. <laughs> People backed me up on dots last week. People backed me up on dipping dots this oh, week. I okay. know. What, what about people are out there? That, those strips of paper that have the little oh. colored circles on oh, them. Oh, those are gross. Okay. <laughs> all, right. all right. We can all agree on that. that all right. Because you end up candy eating more buttons. paper than candy. Yeah. Oh, that's what they're called. Yeah. But they should be called dots because they look more like dots than buttons. No, there's already something called dots, Sydney. Well, that's Why <laughs> would you say that? I'm just saying. They look, they're dots. <laughs> they are like dots though they're not like buttons like you wouldn't then what use should those what should dots be called fake gumdrops <laughs> better gumdrops <laughs> really really difficult gumdrops <laughs> <laughs> they're gumdrops but they're they're a little difficult <laughs> just a little difficult to handle uh now we want to talk about shopping mm. Um, I want to talk about Dippin' Dots. <laughs> yeah, we have covered We're that. done. We're done with All no more Dippin' Dots. <laughs> That's a good check. Got that. <laughs> I have my list of essential shopping topics, and Dippin' Dots was definitely on there. Um, no, yesterday was Boxing Day. Not, I mean, not, I don't think that's like an official U.S. holiday. No. So... That might be confusing to some people, but it is a holiday in the UK, in Canada, correct? I did, yeah. Probably so. other places in the world where you shop, I think. What is the, so it has nothing to do with any sort of physical contact or boxing? No, not that kind of boxing. I think it has to I do with like that's boxes. What it was. Well, I don't know. I thought because your baby maybe was confused because your baby totally kicked me in the face yesterday. Well... <laughs> My baby was puking and having diarrhea. She was having a rough day. She was boxing though, like yeah. a champ. She's better now, but she was she was having a rough poopy day. <laughs> we all have literally. Rough poopy days. But maybe she got confused. Maybe she thought it what? was that kind of boxing. I mean, it sounds way more exciting. Boxing day. Now, boxing has to do with like boxes that you put things in. Yeah, Sydney like also cardboard. tried to explain Boxing Day and then said it's celebrated in maybe these two places. Also, I think <laughs> this is what it is about. Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not really sure what it is, but all I know is that I just looked it up. And yesterday there was an article <laughs> in the Telegraph, which is in the UK, and it says, what is Boxing Day and why do we celebrate it? So it's not just me, okay? <laughs> Um, anyway, there was a lot of shopping yesterday is my point. So is it, is it comparable to like a Black Friday? Like it's another day where we have a bunch of sales and everybody goes out and buys stuff. It's okay. So first of all, it's also the feast day of St. Stephen, who is the patron saint of horses. <laughs> <laughs> we all go buy horse. We, we box with horses. Uh, it we can fight be, horses. It can, we fight horses. No, don't fight any horses. No. It traces back to the Victorian era Churches would put a box into which their parishioners put donations out. So, and you also gave your servants time off. Did you give your servants time off today, girls? Yeah. What? <laughs> your servants. Yeah. Don't you have some? They all got the day off. Like Downton Abbey style servants. Yeah. Let them all go home, visit their families, and then come back and serve you food later in the day, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then you would give them a box of some stuff, like some leftover food <laughs> oh. to take over to their family. <laughs> this, is, this is a mean anyway, holiday. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. It's associated with shopping is the point. Like a lot of people went shopping, and that was in the U.S. too. A ton of people were shopping because there are a lot of deals the day after deals Christmas. Because deals. any excuse to make things more purchasable, I guess. Yep. So Which, day like, after Christmas, day what after should we Christmas, do? Why Go are all these people things. out shopping? Like, day after Christmas, all I want to do is kind of lay in bed and eat candy and play with all my new things. I don't know. The last thing I want to do is shop anymore. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Haven't you done all your shopping? Like, if you are still if you still have shopping to do, or is that the first day you can buy stuff for yourself again so we all celebrate and go out <laughs> and buy stuff for ourselves? I don't know. Either that or are there people who are out there getting those deals for next Christmas? No, that's Maybe. 364 days away. Are They're you... going to lose those presents by then. Ah. I don't know. There's some people that probably think like that. I will never be those. I will never no. be that prepared for anything ever. Well, I, this was the first year I had all my Christmas shopping done by December 1st. 
Wow. I know. That That's impressive. Top. I thought I was on top of my game, but I did not have it done by December 26th of the previous year. So <laughs> clearly I was in the first place there. No. Well, I won't have that. Mm-mm. No. I'll, I'll start thinking about Christmas again, you know, the week before Christmas next year. Mm. No, I don't do that. Yeah. I don't wait that long. Yeah, you do. I don't. You gotta have okay, a- two weeks. <laughs> uh, so, Riley, we've, we've kind of, we've brushed up against shopping before. But we haven't really explored it completely, Mm -hmm. Um, and especially in terms of when I think about like going shopping when I was a teenager, I well I didn't like it. We would go to the mall (laughs) to hang out at the mall. Uh huh. Let's go to the mall. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) And uh, and it was just like a fun, cool thing to do. Sometimes with your friends, would be like, we're gonna go to the mall, and you would take like twenty bucks. Like your mom would, your dad would give you $20 and you go to the mall and that was enough to like. What could you buy for $20? I'm going to hit the food court. Get and some different gonna, dots. Uh, no, no. no. That was a waste of your money. No, I would not. I would not get that. I was probably going to get some Chick-fil-A in all honesty. And then I would get something at Claire's. <laughs> <laughs> a little or, card of earrings. Uh-huh. Yeah. A tiny card of earrings. Because Claire's is always like. Buy any 10 items in the store <laughs> and get any other 10 items for free. Please just buy things. Claire's. We've had the same things here for 35 years and no one will buy them. Claire's. Claire's. <laughs> I don't know. That store has more items in it than, I mean, any store in the mall that's 10 times its size. Well, it, everything is very small, though. It's <laughs> only very, very small things, so you need more things to fill up a normal space. <laughs> so you get one of their tiny baskets and just cram it full. I mean, it's really like you go there, they're like, that's, those are the kind of deals they have. I Buy know. 10, get 10. I don't want 10 things. <laughs> I don't want 20 things. And you go up and if you haven't bought all the things you can, they're like, you know, you could get like eight more and then get eight more after that. And it's like, I don't what would I do? <laughs> what, what eight things do you suggest? I already have two silly pairs of glasses and one card of earrings. <laughs> what else do you want me to buy? I got all the food shaped earrings you have. <laughs> buy 30 lip glasses. Get 20 free. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I need that someday. Well, that hat looks fancy too. I already got four sequin feathered hats. I guess I'll get a fifth. <laughs> um, I just appreciate that they went right through the slump in interest in scrunchies, and they just kept scrunchies available all throughout. Mm-hmm. Now they're back. Now mm-hmm. scrunchies are ironically cool, or maybe yep. really cool. But there was never not a wall of scrunchies back then. <laughs> like, don't trust us. These will be back one day. <laughs> they, they were they were right. And it doesn't matter because Claire's is just, it just regenerates. Every time someone (laughs) buys something off the wall, it just instantly replaces itself. (laughs) It is the the store of requirement in the mall. (laughs) Uh, But we would get, so we'd hit the Claire's, we would get some Chick-fil-A, we'd wander around, look for people we knew, try to look cool. You sound like you had such a great day. Now go in Spencer's because Spencer's Gifts has like the, you know, the the dirty section. I'm like, oh no, that card has boobs on it. (laughs) There's a butt. I saw a butt. (laughs) You walking around with your feather boa on that you just bought at Claire's like drinking your (laughs) drink from Chick-fil-A like, oh my God, guys, there's a butt. (laughs) Look, there's a butt on that. Don't tell mom. (laughs) And... The one person back there is like, oh my god, a butt. I always think it's going to be nuts. <laughs> that was Riley. That was me. <laughs> uh, so, and then that was, if we had to actually do shopping, shopping, I didn't go with my friends for shopping, shopping. Yeah. I know some of my friends would do that as they got older, like maybe <coughs> for like a very specific thing. Like we're going to go homecoming dress shopping together, mm. but not like I need a couple pairs of jeans and a new sweatshirt. I'm going to take all my buddies with me to while they stand outside the dressing room while I try on jeans. Like one of those fanny, fancy montages from rom-coms where they go in the dressing room and like turn on the clothes and all the friends are like, mm, no, ew, thumbs down. And then they start trying on all the goofy stuff and laughing yeah. at each other. And you just imagine like the salespeople like, please stop. <laughs> we have to put all that away. If you don't intend on buying it, please don't try it on. And they finally come out in the white outfit that everyone likes, but you don't get to see it. And it's one thing that they bought after trying on 50. (laughs) I don't know. Did you go shopping with your friends? Uh, No, definitely not. I mean, 
our mall days were very different. They definitely involved a, a stop up at the food court for something that now that I know how it's made should never be mm. consumed. But uh, <laughs> we were just going at the Sam Goody and uh, try to hope that there would be new anime products. And <laughs> like that was kind of it. That was the one store. There were no goofy shenanigans that trying on feather boas. <laughs> That's true. I remember Sam Goody did have like the first... That was the first time I remember seeing all the, the anime stuff that you had kind of introduced me to that you had gotten online that was available like in the physical world around me. Like we'd go back to the corner yeah. of the Sam Goody store. Sam Goody doesn't exist in no, the mall it does anymore. Not. They sold these things called CDs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Never heard of them. They also, I, I believe, sold cassettes at like in my time, in my time on earth. Uh, but they had like the corner of like the anime action figures mm -hmm. and a couple of, they probably had some movies. Oh, they had VHS. Yeah, they had VHS. Yeah, yeah there's a VHS section. Um, but that was the only place you could find that stuff at the mall. Yeah. Yeah, and it was super expensive for that reason. And and it was there was never any like rhyme or reason to how much they would or would not have. Just you go to the mall and like call your friends like guys, there's a <laughs> there's a load of plushies available. <laughs> Come hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was the same. There was the, the comic book section in the bookstore, which in the old bookstore, Walden Books that was there, oh, was yeah. very small. Yeah. And if I was lucky, it would contain like one Archie. And I don't remember ever having any any manga. Mm -mm. But then the new bookstore now, I mean, yeah. it's like there's like 10 shelves dedicated yeah. to it. Anyway, do you go shopping with your friends? Um, I mean... We've gone to the mall together before, but we we won't shop for like actual stuff while we're there. Like you were talking about, like we'll just walk around. I've done that before. We've actually gone shopping together, but it was with one friend and it was on Black Friday. And we just like would go in and just kind of be like, okay, I'm going to buy things now. I'll see you at the end. Well, that's, I was going to say it's a delicate dance because now as an adult, I'll go shopping to like clothing stores with friends. But it's kind of like you go in together and you immediately like you want to lose each other enough that you can sort of do your own perusing mm -hmm. and yeah. like, check in occasionally like, what do you think of this? See you in 15. <laughs> I never want to hit the dressing room at the same time. Cause no. Then it's just like, you know, nobody wants to come out of the dressing room with something that they're trying on. No, because sometimes you put it on in the dressing room and you're looking and you're like, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not sure. Maybe. And your friend is like, Riley. Chame. And you're like, uh. <laughs> is that how your friends your sound? Friends? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Well, but that's a good point, Sid, because I think like once you hit that, uh, maybe, I don't know, then you just take it off and go, nope, because if I feel that way now, it's only going to be worse. <laughs> but you, because they're your friend and few of us have those super duper hardcore honest friends that go, absolutely not. No, take yes. it off. You look like a sausage. Like your friend is always going to be the one like, <laughs> yes, yes, get that, wear that, work that. I'm like, okay. No, it looks great. <laughs> I remember, I see, I know this experience because I had a friend who talked me into, I tried on these red slicky track pants with <laughs> with white stripes down the side. It was a very Sporty Spice inspired kind of thing. <laughs> I was going to wear them with like a little white tank top and a hat and it was going to be very, it was going to be very cool. And a hat. And, <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I had some I clears that on, I got for half off. And I was like. Okay, uh, these look pretty good. They're comfortable. They're track pants. You know, I like these. I'm rocking these. And my friend was like, you need a smaller size. And I was like, no, I'm good. And she's like, seriously, you can do like you. You are much smaller than you think you are. You need smaller pants. Like, stop hiding yourself. <laughs> Wear pants that fit. Don't hide this in those whole crusade. Pants. Don't hide in those track pants. Get the next size lower because you can do it. And I was like, OK, I can wear them. I'm going to do it. And I bought those pants. I remember the first time I wore them out like. You can see everything. You can see every crevice. <laughs> Why did I buy these tight pants? I don't like these tight pants. These are very honest pants. <laughs> these pants don't hide anything. And my friend met well, but then I got really tight red pants. <laughs> yeah. I kept them for years, though. I kept thinking someday. No, they were just too tight. Never day. They were just too tight. That was the whole thing. I, I do think if you do happen across those super honest friends, though, you take them shopping with you every time. <laughs> How awful go, do I look? No, it was super awful. No, awesome. don't don't wear that. <laughs> um, Justin's actually pretty good for that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Yeah, he he. Wow, I that's mean, a dangerous game he plays, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
we've been married for over 10 years. So I mean, like at this point, it's a little easier because I kind of know. And so I'll walk out and I'll be like, please be honest. Like, this is not, this just isn't. And he'll be like, you know, I think I like that other better. I love it. I just, the other one definitely and like so he'll tell me i mean he, he'll he never go like Ooh. well he won't tell you you just know that he doesn't really mean what he's saying when he goes well uh, well you know uh i like the uh the other uh or I he'll go uh, hmm and tilt his head <laughs> and that means <laughs> no no that's what you have to do now it's this rushed like i run in with a bunch of clothes and he's holding charlie outside the dressing room and then i come running out with my hairy legs and trying on clothes <laughs> Great, great, great pictures. Sorry, I hate dressing rooms. Dressing rooms are the worst. Yeah. I feel like everything about them is, is like trying to make you look terrible in clothes. Like it's the that, lighting. Yeah, like it's straight up down light. <clears throat> yeah. You just, you just cast shadows where there's sh- shadows. <laughs> <laughs> even your face looks bad. Like even like you look like tired and drawn in the mirror and it's like, why do I look so exhausted? Why do my fingers look flabby in this mirror? <laughs> Everything about, about me that. looks very washed out. All of a sudden, I look I'm very bland. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's an uncomfortable collar. The floor is so cold, mm. and you have to take your shoes off. Yeah. Well, and I, I have in- intense anxiety about engaging with salespeople because <laughs> once somebody has realized that I might be attempting to buy something and they encourage me to, I feel like I have to. Yeah, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. that's like you know, enthusiastic salespeople will. It, it, they always win, but I end up leaving with things that I would never buy yep. otherwise. I know what you mean. That's why those people who stand in kiosks in the middle of the mall and try to sell you like hand creams and hair gels and things. You know who mm. I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, don't engage. If they, if they try to stop me, like, I border on rudeness. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <you>, no. <laughs> don't look at me. No. <laughs> I just keep walking. Just like, don't, don't talk to me. Don't look at me. I'm just not going to say anything. I know you're asking me if I want this hand cream from the Dead Sea, <laughs> but I just can't look at you or else I'll buy it. <laughs> the, the best defense, carry a baby. Because then they know like she, she doesn't have time for this. <laughs> There's no way she's got time to try on this hand cream. And then they offer something to your baby. And it's like, oh, God, no. Don't offer anything to my baby. My baby, I'm having a hard enough time not riding the train the entire time I'm here. <laughs> That's all we do now at the mall. We go ride is the train. That a just, is that a just our mall thing? Do all I, malls I'd say other trains? malls have that, like a standalone train that just goes in a circle around the whole mall. Do you have to have a baby to ride on the train? No. Can you just say, I got cool. a lot of shopping bags and I'm trying to get to my car that's across the mall. Can I hitch a ride on this train? <laughs> well, you'd have to. Actually, there's an open top car, so you would have to leap out. It doesn't stop. <laughs> Tuck and roll. Are you, you can tuck it off. <laughs> and the, the door is locked so if you're in inside the covered cars you can't get out but if you're in one of the open top ones you could dive out like especially as an adult because it's a small train you could jump out that's discouraged i imagine <laughs> <laughs> i don't think that's the idea i really have a very strange impression on the children on the train <laughs> <laughs> now i i will tell you i feel like diving out of it after like the fourth time that i've heard the chipmunks Sing like shake your groove thing, which is the yeah. kind of music that is being played on the train. <laughs> I could hear that song at least four times <laughs> easily. My favorite though is Charlie on that train because during the holiday time, she always leans out the sides going, Happy holidays! <laughs> Happy, Happy holidays! holidays! <laughs> and waving at everybody. <laughs> She's just spreading some cheer to everyone. Yeah. Um, hey, Riley, should we check the group message? Yeah, I think we should. What we got this week, girls? We have one Jumbotron. Um, I, and your phone died. My phone so died. Tell so us about someone, it. Someone else read it. <laughs> uh, this is a message for Andy. And this is from several people. D and Miss Courtney and Mama C and Norsey and Berlin and Lynette. And they say, Andy, you're incredible. And even though you're moving far away from some of us, we all know you're going to do a great job. And you'll have your feet under you in no time. You're the fiercest of fighters with the kindest, most generous soul. Hopefully this message will make up for D not getting you that bottle of hat a call. (laughs) Maybe next year we love you. Aw, that's nice. That was so Hat a call is an old patent medicine. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm imagining that D was not going to get her a bottle of hat a call to use, but more for funsies. For funsies? Well, no, to like have on your shelf and be like, look, it's an old bottle of Hadacall. Yeah. It's not production anymore. Do you want anymore. that for funsies? I might 
have a bottle of Hadacol. <laughs> of course you do. I have several. Tay, you got me not Hadacol, but you got me an old patent medicine. I did, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, they're they're cool to collect. But Andy, you're incredible. Good luck. And you have great job. All of Berlin, like wish. <laughs> oh, it's the band. Oh, uh, it's still very cool. <laughs> that was a that's a band. Thank you. I also, couldn't have guessed Berlin. by you saying the band. <laughs> well, I didn't. <laughs> It's older. I didn't know if you'd get the reference. I to, assumed to the, once you said the band, band that it a was band, a band. A band is a group of people with musical instruments. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Back up <laughs> one more time. <laughs> they don't just make noise like you kids today. Wow. <laughs> they play instruments. They make music. You ever heard a, old man. Ever heard of Bach? <laughs> ever heard of Beethoven? <laughs> Berlin. Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why I became <laughs> drunk uncle for a second there. <laughs> um, in addition to to shopping, the I guess a lot of people probably were also returning things yesterday. Mm. Who does that? This concept I've never is done that. I've never. This concept is foreign to me. I've never returned anything in my life. It seems like a lot of effort to do, and I didn't. Especially if it's like a gift that someone gave me because I didn't pay for it. Uh, you know, if I bought something and it costs a lot of money and then like, oh my gosh, now I have this thing and I don't need it. I could see maybe making the effort like I will return it because I need the money back. But if I didn't pay for it because it was a gift, but I don't want it, I just can't see myself ever. Re- I've never returned anything. Yeah. Uh, even things that I buy with money, like I, I, I do a lot of online shopping and I get that sometimes, you know, you order something online, you, you don't get to try it on, you return it. Lots of stores have really awesome return programs to mm-hmm. encourage that. Absolutely not. It's like, no. when I re- so many pairs of shoes, I received them, I tried them on, I go, well, I failed. I made the wrong choice and I must have made my decision. <laughs> I've been carrying around the same. I'll do better next time. <laughs> like, I have this pair of heels and they're gorgeous. Uh, and I wish they fit my feet, but my feet are, are very large. And I, I bring them with me, like, to apartment, to apartment, in hopes that one day they will fit, as if you can lose weight in your feet, or <laughs> they will shrink someday. But, like, like, I didn't send them back. They're still mine. Someday I will find where they go. Well, someday you might lose a toe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then they might fit. Yeah, I uh, would not like that to happen. <laughs> Just saying, bright side, if you do. Hmm. Just think about it that way. Well, You'd have to lose two, actually. To, to <laughs> just, on both feet. Which one of your toes is longest? Uh, it's the one next to the big one. Mm. Doesn't that mean something about like me being outgoing or something? I, I've seen those things before. Yeah, I know. I've seen those things on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> they tell you that means something. I mean, medically speaking, I don't... No, <laughs> it's not my area. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you as a doctor. <laughs> What does my middle toe say about my personality? Appendage-based fortune telling is not is not something I learned in medical All school, right. but <laughs> um, I know I've never I've I always appreciate people will give me like I got you this and here's the gift receipt, and I can't I can't I no I can't see. A I would also where... feel kind of like dirty, like someone what bought me a care? gift and I'm taking the money that they spent on it and buying something else for myself. Like, that just makes me feel like a bad person. I've never looked at a gift I got and been like, absolutely not. This is super lame and not for me. Back to the store. (laughs) You are rejected. (laughs) That's what I never got about Rachel from Friends. Let's talk about that for a second. Because every time it's her Christmas or her birthday, she always they always know they're going to return whatever they get her. Mm -hmm. It's like people got her really thoughtful gifts and she's still going to return it and buy something else for herself. I don't see. I, I don't understand. I would never. This is a good yeah. example right there. D- just like Rachel from just Friends, like Rachel who from returns Friends. everything. She does. Well, you girls don't have to worry. I've never returned any of your presents or any any presents or I anything. I haven't either. Yep. Mostly because I'm a child. It also would stress me out because that that would definitely require a lot of interaction. Yeah. Like more so than purchasing, because purchasing is like, I have walked to the sales counter. I am carrying items. 
that are clearly from your store. Your job is to scan them. I have set them on your counter. This is all indicating that I'm going to purchase these items now. Like we're, we're all very straightforward, like what's happening. Like there is no question. There's no confusion. I feel like with returns, there's a layer, a layer of explanation that has to take place first. Can you imagine? Hi. Uh, you have to walk up to the counter. I'd like to return these instead of <laughs> just instead of just handing them things and pretending well, to be on your phone while they oh scan no, them. Oh no! Does that mean you guys have to speak? <laughs> I understand that that's a big problem. What if what if they start asking you questions like? why didn't you like it or what was wrong with it i my head would explode and then you just like change your mind you're like i, I love them i'm taking them i'm Nothing, so sorry nothing's wrong with them i'm sorry here i'll pay you i'll pay you more money for them is the designer here i'm so sorry <laughs> now, and, and then in true sitcom fashion your friend who gave them to you is just gonna come walking up right beside you like oh hey i saw you in this store <gasps> oh what are you doing so, so you didn't like it <laughs> Why did you say you did? Like, oh, it was just I wasn't my size. They're earrings. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> this is Claire's. I didn't even think they returned it. <laughs> That's the one story. You try to return something to Claire's and they're like, it, we can't. It doesn't. No, the spot's regenerated. It can't. You can't do that. Our entire business goes bankrupt if we take one item. <laughs> The store will just explode. It will be so filled with tiny plastic earrings shaped Claire's like hot dogs that the whole store will go when it's gone. <laughs> we can't fit any more scratchies. <laughs> we only have enough room in this store for 2,000 cards of toothpaste shaped earrings. We don't have room for any more. They just incinerate it right in front of you. <laughs> this is what shall be done. <laughs> We have a return. <laughs> Bring out the blowtorch. We just sacrifice room in the bag. They just take all the items. We'll turn our turn. Strange ritual to explain. <laughs> just throw them like I in the volcano. <laughs> Well, chances are, if you're bringing it back to Claire's, whatever you're bringing back was probably free anyway. So they're like, we don't understand. You yeah. just don't just throw, now, just throw it away. The, was this one of the 10 that you actually bought or 10 of the free? These are 10 free items. What, are, what, what do you want what back? What do you want back? Do you want an apology? <laughs> <laughs> we can't give you the time back. I don't know what you want from us. <laughs> I understand that our store is like a vortex. Our time is flat. And there's no measure how long you've been in here, even though it's 10 square feet. But I'm sorry, I can't give you that time back. <laughs> oh. Um, Why are we hating on Claire so much? I don't know. I've spent I spent a lot of time in Claire. Like even to this day, I usually wander in there at least once to go, oh, I bet my mom and sisters want some holiday themed earrings. <laughs> Let's go buy something that jingles. <laughs> um, I think that they're, uh, well, I've never taken anything back. Um, <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I haven't. Uh, I think there are probably times <gasps> where you could re-gift something. Oh, that's a... I think I probably mm. have done that in the past. Regifting definitely is, you know, a thing that happens, but mm-hmm. there, that's, a, that's some risky territory there as well. I yeah. Think. Well, first of all, you have to make sure these are completely, like, not connected groups of people that you are regifting <laughs> to. Like, whoever you received it from and whoever you are passing the gift to can never meet. Because <laughs> what if they ever had a conversation? You you just don't know. You can't predict those Oh, I those like those earrings. Where did you get those? Oh, well, my friend gave them to me. Oh, mm, funny. They look like the ones I gave that friend. Mm, I got mm. them from Claire's for free. <laughs> So jokes on you. I didn't want them anyways. <laughs> yeah. So so there's got to be a, there's got to be at least like a like it's it's like how how many Kevin Bacon's? How does that rule work? Uh, so it has to be at least twelve degrees because it's they're they're each within six of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> so then that means they're within... you need to go through Kevin Bacon and out the other end, and then you can get the person. Again. <laughs> and then they each have to be six different degrees from Kevin Bacon, and then it'll work. <laughs> Kevin Bacon unit of measurement for regifting. You're welcome. If someone is twelve Kevin Bacon's removed, you can you can regift the gift mm. to them. I think also like anonymous gifts, like a gift that's kind of like a a scented candle. It's pretty hard mm. to like trace that back to no no no. That's a scented candle I got you. It's like how do you know it's <laughs> there, vanilla? There are so many vanilla candles. <laughs> gift um, certificates, he's so easy to regift. Yeah, absolutely. You know. Um, I think that books are okay. If, especially if like you already have it you got me a book i know i love it because i definitely already own it 
So, but I don't want to tell you because I don't want you to be sad. So instead, I'm just going to say thank you. And I'm going to give it to somebody else who I think also would enjoy the book. And I can spread the love of this book further in the universe. <laughs> is that is that acceptable? Well, I think that's one of the only times it is acceptable. Because I think mm-hmm. we're gifting a gift just because you don't like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's scummy. Like... Just yeah. look at it going, yeah, absolutely not. But my dear friend, I will give this to. <laughs> it's not good enough for me. But perhaps you, you deserve this. This looks like you. Like if it's a duplicate. This gift made me think of you. Like, you know, like if it's something you already have, great. Re-gift it. Mm-hmm. And you spread the joy. But just something that just didn't live up to your standards, but maybe to your friend with slightly lower standards. But what do you do with it if you don't, like let's say you get something you don't want. What else do you do with it? If you're not going to return it and you're not going to re-gift it and you have this item in your home. Th- throw it away. What are you What are you <laughs> talking about? Like you just don't use it. You get rid of it. What, you put it in the trash? Item, what item is so large that you can't just keep it in your home without using it? I'm just having a hard time. Maybe well, I just like stuff. I'm having a hard time ever remember when I got a gift that I was like, absolutely not. I will have no way find a use for this. Uh, I have those gifts, but like, I'm not going to say them on a podcast. <laughs> Are they in this room? Can you point to them? Point to the bad <laughs> gifts. <laughs> I don't think I got, I, I didn't get anything like that this year, but I have gotten gifts in the past where I have thought, I don't know what I will do with this thing. Is there something you'd like to tell me, Sydney? No. What have I gotten you that you don't know what to do with? This year, I love all of our gifts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I think everybody did a great job. I mm-hmm. have, I am not talking about this year, but in the past, there have been moments where I have gotten gifts and thought, well, now I will be storing this in our attic or basement or storage room. That's what or you do with it. You store it. But why? <laughs> what else do you do with it? You already said you I aren't going to return it. I know, but then you just accumulate so many things. And that's when you go through your attic like once every three years and you get rid of stuff and then you forgot who gave it to you and you know that person forgot they gave it to you and then it's fine. I'm also questioning how regularly you receive gifts. <laughs> <laughs> All of these people bestowing gifts upon me. Some of them must go aside. Like, I don't, I don't have that much gifting in my life. I don't know. I feel like that just Justin and I are quick to accumulate things. And then once you... What, okay, when you have a kid, they get a lot of things too. And so then you have so many things. When we moved out of our last house, we actually... Before we moved, we we talked about a yard sale. And then we, th- and we were like, the organization of that, that seems very cumbersome. Like putting signs up and putting prices on things and oh my gosh people might want to barter and please i cannot have that interaction with anyone that's when you just throw everything out on your street and say please take it you shut yourself in your house no that's true that's the great thing about and you know what maybe this is why i'm i'm so like can't process this because in new york occasionally if you just have a bunch of stuff you don't want you just put it in a cardboard box and you put it on the side of the street and people take it well that's that happens here sometimes uh, to some, at where we used to live, because that street was busier, that would happen. If you put a box of anything out, it would vanish, which was great. But w- we had so much stuff, we just put it all out in the yard and put on Craigslist. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> come to this address and take Until everything out yard. front. The only the only thing we said is everything has to be gone. So we had like this crowd of people in our front yard, like bartering with each other. Like, well, I will take, I want that, but I'll take that stuff too. If you'll take that and then you get rid of this. And, and you guys were inside with all the lights off. Like, <laughs> Looking the in the shade. <laughs> like just take it, just human, take it. Human, human <laughs> mm, yes. But they did. It really, all of these people, they took away all of our stuff. It was all gone. Well, it was great. <laughs> real deal. Like donating. Super easy. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, we could do that, too. I, when I moved out of my last apartment, I had so much stuff, and we just drove, like, a carload to the Salvation Army, and you just bring it all inside, and they don't even look through it. They don't even say, like, this is junky stuff, this is PJ, <laughs> or, like, whatever. They're not judging the quality of, like, your gifts that perhaps you would pass on or re-gift. Is just, that, is that like, see, I know what to do with clothes. Like, I do that with clothes and, like, old toys of Charlie's. Um, and we've done, with books, we always donate old books to the library. That's an easy thing to do if, like, we just have all the, we have too many books and we've all read these and what are we going to do? Uh, but, like, can you take, where do you take, like, an old lawnmower? It's not broken. We just have a better one now. The garbage. I'm like, no, it's not broken. Like, what do you do? I'm like, these are the things I don't know. Or, like, I have 
two champagne glasses left from a set and someone has since bought me a new set and now I just have these two old champagne that weren't particularly expensive but now they're just sitting here. You can't keep two champagne glasses? Like, I don't understand these dilemmas you're having. Riley, someday you're going to have a place of your own (laughs) and you're going to put everything where you want it and then you're going to have piles of extra things and you're going to go, I don't want these things. You're going to have the champagne glass shelf and once it's full, that's it. That's capacity. You did. I mean, there was a point in my life where I had like I mean, no joke, like 30 margarita glasses. And then you go like, I think the time in my life, if I was going to have a giant margarita bash, (laughs) I think I would have done it by now. That's what you do. You have a party themed around the things you're trying to get rid of and you give out the things. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Like a a margarita bash, you give all your 30 guests a margarita and say, now take your glass. That's a great idea, actually. I will say that, like, Real deal. You can donate all that stuff. Doesn't have to just be clothes, shoes. Like I donated like an old printer, tons of, of glassware, plateware, like everything. We need to do that more because I mean we don't we don't sell anything. We give it all away. It's just it's Craigslist and which is fine. But, which you know, is fine too. You know, like if you're if you're not worried about getting anything back for it anyway, why not give it to people that might super duper need it? Yeah, I just always hate the idea. I mean, I guess it's okay too that like all of our stuff is real. We're giving it to people who are going to go sell it, like at the flea market. Although then I guess maybe they're taking it and buying things they need, so it all works. <laughs> it's okay. The circle of sell. I guess it's avoiding just straight up just tossing in the trash straight away. <laughs> well, I don't do that. I joke about that, but that's super super bad. <laughs> don't do that. Don't just throw it away. Somebody need. Chances are somebody needs that. I mean, unless it's like dirtier and gross and broken. Like if it's something that like is unusable. Yeah. Don't give that to some, Come no, on. Like, here you go. Here are these shoes that I wrote war holes in. Exactly. Maybe you want them? No, no, no. Nobody wants those. It's just something, like I said, like we had this lawnmower, like it worked. It's just, then we got a better one. So, what you know, what do you do? Right. So what are you going to do? <laughs> All right. So, re gifting, we have established the rules. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. If, it's a, if it's a duplicate, then, then it's okay to be out in the open mm-hmm. about that regifting. If you just don't want it, maybe you need to think about yourself mm-hmm. and your decisions in life. Yeah. Is that right? Did I get it? We no, we got answer? it. Yes, we're Did I get it right? <laughs> you win. What do I win? Somebody else's um, gift. Somebody else's <laughs> gift. Now, you can avoid that, I guess, by letting people know ahead of time what to buy you, which I've never been very good at. We've talked about already that Taylor is very good Super at the good at Amazon it. wish list. Yeah. Uh, Riley, you have you have like creative different ways, like not just the Amazon wish list. But I remember last year there was something called a Winello uh-huh. that you had many things on. Yes, and I don't know what that is. It's is that like a. a... <laughs> <laughs> this is my Winello. I don't it's know. A... I remember Mom saying like, "There are so many things on Riley's Winello, and I don't know if she wants them all." And I was like, "Her what?" <laughs> no, that's where you like. It's like a website. It stands for What Need Love. And it's a little app that you we both <laughs> gave the same look like, uh, <laughs> um, but I don't use it anymore. But last Christmas, I was all about it. And you just, you save all sorts of things that you want. And it shows you all sorts of things that are suggested for you that you would like. And it just shows you pictures of them and then gives you the link to the website where to buy them. And then you save them to all your various wish lists. Okay. You can make like a list you, like for other people or birthday list or Christmas list. So you can or, share it with like all your friends. Yeah. Is it something public? Like do you have a place public where you would put kind of like a Pinterest? Do you yeah. do that? Is that what Pinterest it's like, is? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's is, like, is Pinterest a a a kind of Winello? It's pin Winello is like a Pinterest for things you want to buy. But Pinterest also has things you want to buy on it, doesn't Pinterest it? Pinterest is mostly like DIYs, like how to make things and how to do things. But it's also like items. Yeah, like I see outfits. What have you bought on Pinterest? I've never bought anything. I don't know. You don't buy things through I, Pinterest. I'm still not sure how to act. Every once in a while, I accidentally click on a Pinterest thing oh, on Google. Words, and then they try to make you be a Pinteraster. And, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I just wanted to look at that. I can't find it. No, <laughs> no it like might show you like cute outfits on Pinterest. And then where to buy them? Maybe. I but not, not the same always. Thing? So, oh no, but Winello is purely for buying things. Just for buying of things. Yeah. Okay. So like it will show you like cute outfits, but then all of the things that you need to buy mm-hmm. to make them and like. Are they separated into want, need, and love? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be very. That would be a good idea, but no. 
Well, I, I wouldn't actually know what the differentiation I know. is there. Like, like <laughs> this is my want list, this is my need list, and this is my love list. Like, I don't... what what you but, want <laughs> The love list is stuff you already have. It's very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't buy this for me. I already have, I'm just making a list of everything I own and <laughs> putting it on the internet. <laughs> the need is just like toothpaste and toilet paper, which I guess you need it, but it doesn't seem fun. <laughs> Is that how it works? It's a way yeah. of organizing yeah. your life. It's I don't really use strange. it anymore. I haven't used it. Do you use something different? Are there any other? Shop, I just go like, on the websites apps? that I like to shop on, like the various stores, and just make wish lists on there. Oh, okay. And I understand how to do that. I have found a store yeah. that I enjoy, and I know how to make that happen. <laughs> yeah. Except, that's it. Except I'm really bad about. I'll just put stuff in a shopping bag, and then my intention is like at some point I'll just tell Justin like this is for a birthday or whatever. Look, I put these things in this bag. You can just buy it, and then it's there. And then I forget. Yeah. And well, then they go out of stock. <laughs> now, now, Riley, is it is online shopping the <clears throat> the main way that you do your shopping these days? Yeah. Every Christmas gift I bought, I bought online. Mm. Just because it's easy to like find a certain thing mm -hmm. for a person, like if you know they're into something online. How do you know which stores? Because I, I, I feel pretty comfortable with Amazon, but like it, once it goes outside of Amazon, <laughs> <laughs> I, well. I, I, things get real. Like I get real nervous about like, is this, I'm putting in credit card information and then like how long is this really going to take and what is it really going to look like? I think if you look up reviews about a website or just based off mm -hmm, the general mm -hmm. aesthetic of the website it's probably easy to tell what's <laughs> legit and what's not mm -hmm. where are these reviews now <laughs> well just look up like a website like you know that's not a website but like but if you google the website you I, just you just go to the website I'm or you could confused. like google the website <laughs> i mean if it's not like type weird... the website in the address bar <laughs> sydney do you know how computers work like i said if it's uh -huh, like a uh -huh. geo sites with some like, bad <laughs> flash on it like don't maybe and they're just like email me your credit card information don't do that like, <laughs> it's like angel fire <laughs> <laughs> or some text that like spins around the glitter <laughs> Guys, do you think there's a Claire's.com? I'm sure there is. Um, I'm, I guarantee it. Yeah. Can you imagine how many things are on the website where it's just <laughs> <a computer? laughs> It's not confined to five square feet. Do you, do you still shop at Claire's with your friends? No. No. I will say that I have all my camera strips from the mall, like all the strips of pictures that you take with friends at the mall, mm -hmm. hanging on my wall at home. And in one of the pictures, I went there with one of my uh, girlfriends and then two of our guy friends that we were in theater together and me and the other girl went into Claire's and spent like 20 minutes in there. We came out with pairs of fake glasses that we thought were super cute. And in the picture I have hanging on my wall, we're wearing those pairs of fake glasses because that's what you do at Claire's. You buy the fake glasses. That's about it. Yeah. I really, I really only go in there for holiday themed earrings anymore. Yeah. I mean, not for myself, <laughs> like to buy it for fun, like for you guys, not, well, I, I have to have holiday themed earrings. I mean, you didn't give any to us this yeah. year, so where did they go? I forgot this year. Yeah. That was bad. I never made it. I, I get stuck in the same mall routine now every time I go. It's Choo Choo Train, <laughs> the Play Place, Disney store. The, the Disney store, and the Pretzel store. The Can I say, by the way, a note about our mall's Play Place? Yes, you may. <laughs> Riley, you've seen it. Tay, I don't know that you have. There's a play area, and it is brought to you by a local medical establishment, which That's I am affiliated with, so I'm not, I'm not plugging it. But because it is, the playground stuff is themed, like, medically. It's all, like, a big stuff type of dermic needles <laughs> and, like, go down well, the colon slide. There's Except like, it's actually just big fruits and vegetables. Well, the middle thing is, like, a big giant pile of fruits and vegetables, like a slide. But then there's a, like, a, an airlift, like a life flight helicopter that you can play on. Oh, that's dark. And then there's a, um, there was an ambulance slide that yeah. you could slide on now that has vanished and i don't know what happened to it but i thought that I was dark it. like here's an ambulance you can play on and then there's a buffalo with a stethoscope and, and there's also like random kangaroo. piles of flowers and butterflies on the ground yeah but there was definitely like a life flight helicopter and an ambulance that you could play on yeah hmm. isn't that odd that is odd right okay i'm just saying i thought it was strange i get the fruits and vegetables but whatever 
<laughs> anyway. I, don't, I don't think to be fair i don't think all the toddlers realize that's what it is i think they see a slide and they're like slide no, all charlie sees are like a bunch of children that terrify her yeah i, I don't yeah. think anyone gets on that <laughs> That helicopter thing. I was like, okay, let's pretend I'm in cardiac arrest. <laughs> well, maybe your kid actually said. Mm. Yeah, actually, Charlie would do that. <laughs> no, that's not. Somebody's bleeding out. She said that the other day. She made yeah. her cars wreck and then said, they bled out. <laughs> I did not teach her that. I did mm, not teach her that. Did I, you? I swear to you, I didn't. Anyway, I was just, I just thought it was a weird play place. It is. I spend a lot of time sitting in there trying to encourage Charlie <laughs> to engage with other children. No, I don't doesn't. know where she gets this awkwardness. Wow, I wonder <laughs> where. I don't it's know why it's like so a, difficult. Yeah, I mean, with you and Justin, that's like purebred awkward. Like, I mean, it's, <laughs> she love you both. She runs from babies. Like little babies <laughs> will come toddling up towards her and she'll like turn and run like, ah! <laughs> yeah i was with her once there and there was another there was only one other little girl and she went she was talking to me and she went i like her dress and i said well go tell her you like her dress and she like got like two feet away from her and just like stood there staring at her and she was going like uh, uh, but she just turned around and ran off <laughs> like I, I like your dress i just can't say it she's getting better when there's one kid she does a little better yeah but then when there's lots of kids running she'll go they're wild they're <laughs> being wild <laughs> like an old woman well I, I have to ask one last question in terms of aw both awkwardness and gift giving during the the holiday season is does anybody else like just have extra like non-denominational gifts on hand just in case mm -hmm. anybody surprises you with some sort of gift mm -hmm. yeah just like super benign but I have these, and they are okay for anybody. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I, now, I don't do that now as much as an adult. Um, but, yeah, I always used to do that when I was younger. It's just, also... Justin, because you didn't know. Like, sometimes you thought you and a friend were on a level where, like, oh, we're friends, but not, like, gift-giving friends. Yeah. And then they surprise you, and you realize you were. Yeah. 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 It's always also easy for me at this age because when it's, like, a family member or something that I don't know... And mom and dad have gotten them. <laughs> Not that I don't know, but I didn't know we we're going to get me a present. And mom and dad get them a present. Mm -hmm. I can just be like, oh, I was with mom and dad. We all got you this. <laughs> you just keep putting another name on that tag. Yeah. yeah. There are a lot of times, Riley, as an adult, where you can get away with like a bottle of wine. Yeah. Oh, that's the, yeah. That's, that's the best. A, yeah. Not always. I mean, you got to be careful, though, because if they don't drink, then that was whatever but as an adult that's that's the equivalent for me to like the chapstick gifts that we used to give as a kid like when i would yeah. go to school around the holidays with all these extra little wrap packages of lip smackers that's super true and anytime mm -hmm. i don't know what to get somebody and i mean i work in the restaurant world i know that everybody most of the people i know you know mm -hmm. they care about good alcohol and uh yeah and the thing is no one's gonna get mad at you for regifting that because it's like i give you a bottle of wine i don't drink cabernet pass it on it's like it's fine See no, the, way, the way I figured that out in the past is texting friends. We're talking about holidays and Christmas. I'm like, so what do you want for Christmas? And if they say like, oh, well, I kind of want stuff like this, but I got you this. I'm like, oh, okay. See, this is where this is where I know I have to get you a present. But if they're like, oh, don't worry about it. You don't have to give me anything. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna get you anything. Okay, then you said so. <laughs> it's not getting you anything. The other easy out, which I cannot do, but I married someone who can, are baked goods. <coughs> Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. If yeah. you have brownies, cookies, fudge, anything that, like, there are many of, and you can put in a nice little package and then just have on hand to be like, and here's for you. <laughs> Could you, I mean, if you, if the baking part is what throws you off, like, what if you bought, like, a whole box of Oreos and just partitioned them <laughs> apart into some <laughs> Use the hand. It's, no, don't even do that. Just get hand somebody a package of Oreo. <laughs> Happy holidays, <laughs> Oreos. <laughs> I mean, because it's a, it's a hard thing. <laughs> like, I would never be upset. I mean, it's kind of the perfect gift because who's going to be mad at getting Oreos? They're not going to have to pass those on because mm -mm. The, no matter how many Oreos you have, you could always have more. <laughs> and like, it's not going to take up a lot of space. You don't have to store those if you're not ready for them right now. Really, like, it's a good. It's a, I think that's fine. I think that's a pass. <laughs> so for this holiday season, if you haven't already exchanged gifts, Oreos. There you go. There you go. Still over, not sponsored by Oreos. No. <laughs> or, or, or Claire's. Or Dippin' Dots. <laughs> or Dots. <laughs> or anything Any else. sort of dot-shaped food. <laughs> or perhaps we're sponsored by all dot-shaped food. Mm, I guess that's for you that's to figure out. That's for me. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, either way, sisters, thank you for joining me in person, live and in person, Taylor. Yeah, weird. This has been a wonderful holiday season so far. It is not yet over. Although now the days are getting longer. So mm-hmm. that's good. We got through the mid darkness. We did. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Come out I like that. I'm I'm already feeling cheerier. I need that sunlight, guys. Vitamin I mean, D. need that vitamin, vitamin D. D. The vitamin D. Although I, I admit the fact that it was 60 degrees on Christmas was a, li- a little bummery for us. Yeah. A little. I, I yeah. kind of like that snow. Just like on Christmas and then it's fine. The rest of the year can be what I That's fine. Yeah. Just need that one time. Yeah. Um, thank you as always for listening to our show. Uh, thank you to um, everybody who is in our Facebook group, still buffering on Facebook. Feel free to join if you're not a robot. Uh, you can tweet at us at still buff. You can send us questions, comments, thoughts, suggestions at still buffering at maximumfun.org. Uh, check out maximumfun.org for all of our other wonderful podcasts on our network. Uh, you can also maximumfun.org forward slash jumbotron if you'd like us to send a message to somebody you care about. Um, not just for the holidays, anytime. So uh, thank you also to the novellas for our theme song, Baby You Change Your Mind. This has been Still Buffering, a sister's guide to teens through the ages. I am Riley Smurl. I'm Sydney McElroy. And I'm Taylor Smurl. I am a teenager. And, and I was too. Ooh. So good. That's how I'm going Hello, Brent. Travis. Welcome to Trends Like These. What's Trends Like These, you ask? Well, it's a podcast where we take the the news trending on the internet and we cover it in podcast form. We go beyond the headlines, beyond the memes to bring you the real story so that when your friends bring it up, you can look real smart. We take things that need to be debunked and we debunk them. And then we take things that need to be rebunked and we rebunk them. We bring you all the details and we give you a spin on it. Our opinions, our thoughts, and we also try to dig up some positive things to talk about. So it's not all bummers. Just a couple of real life friends talking internet trends. So join us every Thursday on MaximumFun.org and wherever podcasts are found. MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Listener supported.